Hello guys, first of all, I'm extremely sorry. I could not live up to your expectation. I promised a video by this Friday, however, I could not deliver it. So I'm extremely sorry and apologetic. And to make up for this loss, I have added two new extra topics in this video, both of which are not included in your syllabus. However, I feel that these two topics would increase your knowledge in this subject. So let us start. Let us start. So basically after the discovery of the voltaic cell or the galvanic cell, scientists started to think, is there a relationship between electrical current and potential difference? This question arised in several brilliant minds of that time. However, George Simon Ohm was the one who landed with conclusive evidence. Okay, so George Simon Ohm had a lot experiments designed to prove to prove that there is a relationship between electrical current and potential difference. Okay, so initially when he carried out those experiments in a series of voltaic cells, it did not lead to conclusive evidence. Okay, they had our observations below it were not enough to prove the relationship okay so for this purpose only he had to make a complete new battery okay now known as a thermal couple okay to prove the existence of such kind of a relationship so now let us look what a thermal couple basically is so this figure is of a thermal couple here what happens is that a metal strip a and a metal strip b are connected together with the help of a conducting wire but they are both kept at two adverse situation metal strip a is dipped in ice okay i mean bohut thanda eta environment ra rakha it is kept at around 0 degree celsius okay it is kept in ice whereas the metal strip b is dipped in hot water hot water ta mane kiman hot it is at 100 degree celsius that is boiling water okay so what happens here is that the electrons in strip a metal strip a are at a higher thermodynamic energy okay they have higher thermodynamic energy than the electrons at strip a okay so electrons will like strip b pra strip a le move kore bol thare kele because of the energy gradient okay so now the electrons move from a place of a higher thermodynamic energy to a place of low thermodynamic energy okay so electrons will have movement electrons will have movement it proves the existence of electricity now when electricity is generated okay so electricity is generated we have a new working apparatus okay that will help us prove that help george simon prove the relationship between electricity and potential so by 1827 ohm had collected a great set of data and by combining all of those data, he gave us the very famous Ohm's law. A law that would define a relationship between electric current and potential difference. So, a Ohm's law, hoi ki. let us see. So, Ohm's law states that the electric current flowing through a metallic wire is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends provided provided the temperature remains the same okay ohm's law is the electric current flowing through a metallic wire is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends provided the temperature is same so if this is the wire let this be point a and this be point b or we assume that the current i is flowing through this wire then this value is directly proportional to the potential difference between the two points okay so mathematically we can write that i is proportional to v so now since i is proportional to v we can also see but we can also say that v is proportional to i so a proportionality symbol to it we have a constant that constant george simon named it to be resistance okay that constant is now known as resistance so a resistance no hoi ki I have referred to it in the previous classes, however, I have not explained it in detail. So now it is a chance for me to explain you what resistance is. So resistance, the R in this equation is a constant for the given metallic wire at a given temperature and is called resistance. Okay, basically at a proportionality constant. 
सो रेजिस्टेंस नो है कि रेजिस्टेंस वी कैन से दैट इट इज ए प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ए कंडक्टर टू रेजिस्ट द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस थ्रो इट ओके एने प्रपार्टी है कंडक्टर दैट रेजिस्ट द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस दैट रेजिस्ट द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस थ्रो द कंडक्टर सो व्हाट इज द एसाइनमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस द एसाइनमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इज ओम ओके सो व्हाट इज वन ओम वी ऑल्सो नीड टू स्टडी अबाउट दिस राइट व्हाट इज वन ओम रेजिस्टेंस सो नाउ इफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एक्रॉस द टू वेन्स ऑफ ए कंडक्टर इज वन वोल्ट द कारेंट थ्रो द कंडक्टर इज वन एम्पियर देन द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए कंडक्टर उड बी वन और वी कैन से दैट इफ द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एक्रॉस द टू वेन्स ऑफ ए कंडक्टर इज वन वोल्ट एंड द कारेंट थ्रो द कंडक्टर इज वन एम्पियर देन द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द कंडक्टर उड बी वन ओम सो इतना रेजिस्टेंस डीए क but which electrical component offers a resistance so a conductor having an appreciable resistance is called a resistor tar mane the answer to this question is a resistor the answer to the question that i have asked which electrical component offers resistance so the answer is a conductor that have having an appreciable resistance is known as a resistor so basically the answer is a resistor resistor to ki hoy eta conductor hoy that gives an appreciable resistance okay A component of identical size that offers a higher resistance is known as a poor conductor, and if it offers a low resistance, it will be a good conductor. Why? Just go to the previous equation. Because we know that V is proportional to I, but I mean, let's say, V is equal to I R. Okay. So now, considering V to be a constant, considering V is equal to a constant. we can say that i is inversely proportional to r tar mane jete resistance increase hoye electrical current or value to komi jay okay so electrical current or value to komi jao mane it is a bad conductor ba poor conductor okay so an insulator ki hoy insulator is a poor conductor which offers even a higher resistance okay an insulator offers a great resistance that is why it is known as a insulator okay so it am is some we will be studying about what factors does a resistance of a conductor depends for knowing this we must basically know what is the physical interpretation of resistance okay resistance bostu to hoy ki what does it physically interpret take the example of this metal wire okay again i will see please do not mind this diagram <laughs> i know i draw horrible but still try to get to the emotions behind this diagram okay so here these are the positively charged nucleus and as i have already stated that metals will have a particular kind of bonding dekha jay that bonding is known as metallic bonding exactly exactly okay so metallic bonding at ki hoy the positively charged nucleus is embedded in a sea of electrons so basically the black color i have i have used it to mark positively charged nucleus and the red dots that you see all around it let them be electrons okay so now let us assume that electric current is flowing from point a to point b okay tar mane ki let us take the an example of this electron a electron to it flows along any path it has a velocity suppose v it flows along any path it starts from a and it goes to b that is why we can say that electricity is flowing through this metal wire so it a electron jete move koribo electron jete move koribo e move korote what are the obstructions that it may face इलेक्ट्रन उल कलाइड उथ दिस पजिटिवलि चार्ज निउक्लियास अक ए पजिटिवलि चार्ज निउक्लियास तो कलाइड कर निकी ना इट उल कलाइड उथ दिस सपोज यार ट्रेजेक्टरी टू लेट द पाथ अफ दिस इलेक्ट्रन बी इन दिस वे ओके इट स्टार्ट फ्रम हियर इट कलाइड हियर आको इत कलाइड कर कलाइड कर कलाइड कर कलाइड कर कलाइड कर कलाइड कर बहुत क्या कलिशन पीछे इट लैंड इन पॉइंट वे ओके so resistance ki hoy resistance is basically number of collisions okay so number of collisions to kitya bahibo now the question arises a resistance to kitya increase hoy jabo so the perfect answer you guys can give it to me now okay eta tumaloke mok answer koribo pare je resistance to when will it increase you can say je jodi mo a positively charged nucleus or size to jodi badhai diu बा पजिटिवलि चार्ज निउक्लियास नम्बर तो जो बढ़ाई दूँ 
तीया हमें द रेजिस्टेस उल इनक्रीज तार मैंने रेजिस्टेस डिपेन्डस अन द नेचार अफ द मेटेरियल ओके एन ओ एम नम ओके रेजिस्टेस डिपेन्डस अन द नेचार अफ द मेटेरियल सो द सेकेंड प्रपार्टी देट द रेजिस्टेस अफ ए कंडक्टर डिपेन्डस अन इज बेसिकली एरिया सो एरिया इनक्रीज कर दीम एरिया इनक्रीज कर मानने कि हल उर गिविंग ए बिगार एरिया ओके उ आर गिविंग ए लार्जार एरिया फर द इलेक्ट्रन टू ट्रेभल थ्रु और इलेक्ट्रन एटक जो लार्जार एरिया दूँ नम्बर अफ कलिजन्स तो कमी जाओ तमें कि देख लो देर इज अल्सो ए डिपेन्डेस अन एरिया ओके तमें रेजिस्टेस इज इनार्सलि प्रपोर्शनल टू एरिया सो नाउ और डिपेन्डेस फेक्टर आस व्हाट इज द डिपेन्डेस फेक्टर देट इज लेंथ ओके सो मैं जो ए और बर मजर लेंथ तो जो मैं इनक्रीज कर दूँ ओके इफ आई इनक्रीज द लेंथ दिस उल मीन दैट द नम्बर अफ कलिजन्स टू इनक्रीज हो जा कारण देर उल बी ए ग्रेटार नम्बर अफ एटम्स इनिशियल जो एल लेंथ जो छटा इले एटम्स आटम्स मानने पजिटिव चार्ज सो इनिशियल एल लेंथ जो छटा एटम्स आो टाइस एल लेंथ देर उल बी टूवेल्व एटम्स ओके सो टूवेल्व एटम्स थे कि हल द नम्बर अफ कलिजन्स इट उल इनक्रीज कारण एरिया तो सेमे आसे ओके सो रेजिस्टेस अल्सो डिपेन्डस अन लेंथ ओके रेजिस्टेस अल्सो डिपेन्डस अन लेंथ सो ह्वाट आर द थ्री फेक्टर्स डेट रेजिस्टेस डिपेन्डस अन फार्ष्ट अफ अल इट डिपेन्डस अन द नेचार अफ द मेटेरियल सेकेंडलि इट डिपेन्डस अन द एरिया अफ द मेटेलिक वायर कंडक्टर एंड अल्सो इट डिपेन्डस अन द लेंथ अफ द मेटेलिक कंडक्टर ओके सो आई मेनशन इट इन दिस प्लेसेस तो द रेजिस्टेस अफ ए कंडक्टर डिपेन्डस on the nature of the material on its length and on its area of cross section so now moving on a tinta factor use kori pale we came up with a new constant okay so first i wrote r is proportional to l r is proportional to a a duta combine kori pale we came up with a third equation that is r is proportional to l by a. so अमी प्रपोर्शनलिटी सैन तो जैसे अतराई दूँ उ कम आप उथ एव प्रपोर्शनलिटी कन्स्टेन्ट रो सो ए रो तो कि है एज आई हेव डिस्कास आर्लियर व्हाट आर द थ्री फेक्टर्स डेट ए रेजिस्टेस अफ ए मेटेलिक कंडक्टर बै कंडक्टर डिपेन्स अन इट डिपेन्स अन लेंथ अफ द कंडक्टर डिपेन्स अन द एरिया अफ द कंडक्टर एंड व्हाट आर दर्ड क्वालिटी इट वाज द नेचार अफ द कंडक्टर ओके नेचार अफ द कंडक्टर तो बुझाने कारण उ हेव दिस कन्स्टेन्ट अफ प्रपोर्शनलिटी दैट कन्स्टेन्ट अफ प्रपोर्शनलिटी इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रिकल रेजिस्टिविटी ओके सो यू एट कि इट इज ए प्रपार्टी इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रपार्टी अफ द मेटेरियल अफ द कंडक्टर ओके सो रेजिस्टिविटी बस्तु तो इट इज द प्रपार्टी अफ ए मेटेलिक कंडक्टर बै नाउ यू कूड अल हेव कम आप उथ दसा यूनिट अफ रेजिस्टिविटी सो दसा यूनिट अफ रेजिस्टिविटी इज ओम मिटर ओके इट्स ओम इन टू मिटर ओके सो ओम मिटर एक्सप्रेस कर जाए एज इट्स इंग्लिश नेम सजेस्ट ओके रेजिस्टिविटी मैंने कि हो पे जो बेसि रेजिस्टेस दिए ओके कंडक्टर तो बेसि रेजिस्ट कर फ्लो अफ इलेक्ट्रनस ओके सो ओके मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर्स सीन्स दे आर गुड कंडक्टर्स दे रेजिस्टिविटी अफ मेटल्स उल वि लो देट इज वाई फर मेटल्स एंड एलवेज यू गेट ए रेजिस्टिविटी अफ टेन टू दिपर माइनास एट टू टेन टू दिपर माइनास सिक्स ओम मिटर सीमिलारलि इन्सुलेटार्स हेव हायर रेजिस्टिविटी उ हेव टक्ट अबाउट इट बेसि रेजिस्टेस प्रोभाइड कर बेसि रेजिस्टेस प्रोभाइड कर मैंने इट हेज ए greater resistivity okay so insulators have a resistivity range of around 10 to the power 12 to 10 to the power 17 ohm meter okay so both the resistance and resistivity of the material vary with the temperature depend kore etia the values that i have mentioned here 10 to the power minus 8 by 10 to the power minus 6 ebus of values particular values by range to we have found this range at only a particular temperature okay so a particular temperature to basically room temperature rakha hoy okay so it is 298 Kelvin, twenty-seven degrees Celsius. So, hey, particular temperature to the abuse of resistance or experimental value will have ulva hai. Okay, so you cannot just say that metals and alloys have resistivity of ten to the power minus eight to ten to the power minus six at all temperature ranges. That is wrong. Okay, so resistance of the uh, by resistivity do it. Hai. Resistance or resistivity of a material vary with the temperature. And why does it vary with the temperature? This is a question for you. Okay, please. Comment in the comment section below. How is resistance or resistivity dependent 
on the temperature okay i mean temperature increase hole resistance to bahibo ne komibo okay this is a work for you please reply to this question in the comment section below so what is the use of alloys in electricity okay alloys are basically a mixture of a metal and a metal or a metal or a non metal so, alloys bela ko resistivity to dekha goise je it is generally high okay it is generally high and also it does not oxidize at higher temperature so a duta property use kori use kori pale human beings designed several electrical heating devices okay so electrical heating devices are example bela ki hol electrical iron there is an electrical iron there are toasters you would see that it was a basically heating device a heating devices will occur since alloys do not I mean do not oxidize at higher temperature but it does not burn at higher temperature okay or since its resistivity is generally high so using the now known heating effects of electric current it is used in electrical heating devices also tungsten tungsten is an element tungsten or resistivity to both high and it is used as a filament in electrical bulbs so purana low power bulbs will act like so you could see something yellow shining very bright inside it right so basically it is a tungsten filament so tungsten to basically it is used as a filament in electrical bulbs so itia yat mata bostu mention koilu the thing that i mention here is heating effects of electric current so what is heating effects of electric current this is a topic for the next video so with this i would like to end my video Thank you for staying so long and also please like and share this video also subscribe to the channel for new awesome updates and i would also like to mention a couple of things i have seen that people have stopped reacting to this video i mean jodi bhal paisa please like if you are not liking this video if there is a problem in my pronunciation or my speaking skills please dislike this video i have no problem with it mention it in the comments so that i can come up with a better version of myself in the next video okay so with this thank you and have a nice day ahead also and like and share this video and also subscribe to this channel and have a nice day ahead.